Hello YouTube, I'm Tim and welcome to part 3 of my DVD and Blu-ray update for August 2018. And right behind me, let's move the cam. See, I'm right here and behind me. Three more Amazon Prime packages, so... I'll open those up on camera. So first, package number one. Let's see what we've got in here. And I believe these are all DVDs in this one. And nothing more in there, just the bubble wrap. Oh. So this is one looks kind of weird. This looks like a Blu-ray case, but it's a DVD. See, it's really small, like a Blu-ray case, but as you can tell, there's a DVD logo at the top. It's an old TV special. Welcome to my Nightmare Special Edition. Yeah, Alice Cooper featuring the Nightmare, the 1975 TV special with special guest Vincent Price. And... Looks like it's Region Zero, but it's NTSC, so it's formatted for U.S. and Canada. The special edition DVD feature from Alice Cooper includes the 1976 concert film Welcome to My Nightmare. And appearing for the first on DVD for the first time, the 1975 TV special Alice Cooper, The Nightmare. Alice Cooper, The Nightmare is the rarely seen 1975 TV special that aired on ABC in the USA in conjunction with the release of the legendary Welcome to My Nightmare album. The TV special stars Alice Cooper as Stephen and Vincent Price as a spirit of the Nightmare and showcases every song from the Welcome to My Nightmare album, including only Women Bleed, Department of Youth, Cold Ethel, and the title track. Welcome to My Nightmare features hits and classic songs, including I'm 18, School's Out, Only Women Bleed, No More Mr. Nice Guy, and the trademark title song. The Nightmare vividly comes to life on the rock stage, bringing a Fourth, a plethora of skeletons, giant spiders, a cyclops, the magic movie sc screen, and the voice of horror meister Vincent Price. All designed to thrill you and keep you uneasy in your sleep. Welcome to my nightmare, the awakening. Welcome to my nightmare. Years ago, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I'm 18, some folks. Cold Ethel, only when... Men Bleed, Billion Dollar Babies, Devil's Food, The Black Widow, Stephen, Escape, Schools Out, and Department of Youth. Stage director, co-producer, and choreographer David Winters. Yeah, that's for well, the song list for Welcome to My Nightmare. Then The Nightmare, we have Welcome to My Nightmare, Devil's Food, Some Folks, Only... Women Bleed, Cold Old Ethel, The Black Widow, Years Ago, Department of Youth, Years Ago, Reprise, Stephen, The Awakening, The Ballad of Dwight Fry, Escape, and The Awakening, Reprise, N The Nightmares, produced by Carolyn Pfeiffer and Jorn Winther. Directed by, or, yeah, it's like Dune 
Vinta, Vinta, or something like that. It's like a German or Scandinavian name. This is from Universal Music Group and e Eagle Vision Rock. It's approximately 145 minutes long, DVD 9, Region 0, NTSC, and it's a 4x3 full frame format. And Welcome to My Nightmare is in Dolby Digital Stereo, while The Nightmare is in Mono Audio. And it's subtitled in English, German, French, and Portuguese. Yeah, Portuguese. So, Welcome to My Nightmare and on DVD. But, it, but the case is... Yeah, this sort of case is really the kind that's either designed for... DVD Blu-ray combo packs, or just for a single Blu-ray. But I guess this is just shot on videotape, so it's not going to look that. It's not going to be high definition, no matter what you do with it. And then I got the DVD edition of the late great Planet Earth, starring Orson Welles, and it's put out by Scorpion, releasing distributed by Kino Lorber, and I did look online, and it looks like VCI Entertainment did release this on DVD at one point, but I'm I'm guessing that probably their DVD release would have been just a VHS upscale, not a true DVD formatted disc. Whereas this is from actual film elements. And it looks like it just has all the same stuff as the Blu-ray I I showed off in part one. This is region zero. So, and it's or Orson Welles on camera and off camera narrator. So, the late great planet Earth. It's all about the Hal Lindsey bestseller telling about. Biblical prophecies foretelling the end of the world. Yeah, kind of depressing, but from what I saw in a review online, this looks like this has lots of great stock footage in this. Then one I put off on getting on DVD. It's not doesn't look like it's gonna have a Blu-ray release anytime soon, but it's had a decent widescreen DVD release here in the US and, and over in the UK. One that sort of had a porno stigma attached to it for a long time, but it's not it's not a porno film. Even though it makes references to porn and sex, it's and it had as actresses in it who are mainly known for doing pornography. It's not really a porn film. It's just a sex parody comedy that parodies the old Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers serials of the 1930s and 40s. It's Flash Gordon. Digitally remastered collector's edition from Hen's Tooth video. Collector's Edition Flesh Gordon, in this outrageous spoof of sci-fi films, Earth is thrown into carnal chaos by a mysterious sex ray emanating from outer space. Flesh Gordon, Dale Arder, and their newfound friend, Dr. Jerkoff. Yeah, his name is Jerkoff. Must travel to the planet Porno to save the Earth from certain devastation by the Mad Emperor... Wang. <laughs> and special features include 15 minutes of restored footage, the original theatrical trailer, chapter search feature, and audio commentary by director Howard Zime, digitally remastered from the original negative in its original, original widescreen format 1.85, color 90 minutes, comedy adventure not rated. 
if this was X-rated originally, but I believe it had it changed to an R rating later on. But it says this program contains mature subject matter. It is intended for viewing by adults only, 18 years and older. So Flesh Gordon, the graffiti production starring Jason Williams, Suzanne Fields, Joseph Hudgens, William Hunt, and John Hoyt as Professor Gordon. Screenplay by Michael Ben Bentsite, produced by Howard Zeim and William Osco, also known as Bill Osco, directed by Ben or by Michael Ben Bentsite and Howard Zeim. Yeah, it was copyrighted in 1974 by Graffiti Productions, but put out on DVD in 2002. And I'm hoping that this is enhanced for 16 by 9 widescreen TV, so it'll look decent on HD TV. So. Jason Williams in sex spoof of Flash Gordon, Flesh Gordon, and it's not to be confused with the original Flash Gordon. So it's Drive-In Cult Midnight Movie. So that was in package one. We had Alice Cooper. Welcome to my nightmare special edition and Scorpion Kino DVD of the late great planet Earth and the Hen's Tooth Collector's Edition DVD of Flesh Gordon and package number one from Amazon Prime. So now we go into package number two. And these suckers are getting all the way to the top. No, no packing slips or anything. It's just a little bubble wrap inside. So, get that out of the way. So first, some Blu-rays. Blu you have a DVD Blu-ray combo. Put out by Vinegar Syndrome, and I. This is. Stuff that they licensed from Xenon Pictures, the 70s black exploitation flick starring Rudy Ray Moore, Dolanite. So it's it's combo. You get both the DVD and Blu-ray HD copy, and these are region. Blu-rays, multi-regions A, B, C, and I'm guessing the DVDs is either zero or region free. It's English mono and then English subtitles, deaf of hard, hard of hearing, and a 1.85 widescreen color, 90 minutes, 1975, 90 minutes. No, it's not listed as being rated, but I think this is pretty much R, 70s R-rated. Special features scanned and restored in 2K from a newly discovered 35mm negative includes two framing options, the intended 1.85 widescreen version and the alternate full-frame boom mic version. And then I Dolomite making of documentary Lady Read Uncut featurette, locations then and now featurette, Historical commentary track by Rudy Ray Moore's biographer, Mark Jason Murray, 
the Dolomite theatrical trailer and then trailer for the other Dolomite movie, The Human Tornado. And then the original cover art by Jane and Shaw. And a reversible cover art and English SDH subtitles. Directed by De, De Irville Martin, starring Rudy Ray Moore, De Irville Martin, Lady Reed, and Jerry Jones. Dolly, my Rudy Ray Moore, the baddest pimp in town, has just been released from prison, ready to take revenge on a notorious gangster, Willie Green, De Irville Martin, who set him up on a phony drug charge and stole his club. The total experience, with the help of his friend Queen Bee, Lady Reed, and their band of kung fu fighting vixens, and Stolomite takes on every rat suit eating mother F effer <laughs> in South Central. <laughs> Acclaimed comedian Rudy Ray Moore's outrageously funny and action packed black exploitation class. Yeah, Rudy Ray Moore's outrageously funny and action-packed black exploitation classic makes it world its worldwide Blu-ray debut fully restored in 2K from a recently discovered 35mm negative and loaded with extras including a new making of documentary by Elijah Jenner, Drenner by Elijah Drenner and a historical commentary track from Moore's Biographer Mark Murray, yeah, by Mark Murray, featuring interviews with Moore as well as co-stars Jerry Jones, Lady Reed, John Kerry, and cinematographer Nick von Sternberg, and more. So Dolomite DVD Blu-ray combo pack, licensed from Xenon Pictures for Vinegar Syndrome. Just see, there's a few tiny little screen captures on the bottom. And even with this 870p HD webcam, there's not really much of a focus thing on here to make these look any better. So that's first the Blu-rays and package number two from Amazon Prime and then the collector series Blu-ray from Lionsgate's Vestron video collection Chopping Mall. And it's got a sticker over part of it so I can't really read everything on the back of it. This has a bunch of extras, and I don't want to take the time reading them all, but this is R-rated and region A-locked, and it's 1080p high definition, and 16 by 9, 1.85 widescreen, original on oral audio and English SDH, the subtitles for deaf and hard of hearing, and Feature runtime approximately 76 minutes, and it's from 1986. And yeah, there's audio commentary, and then there's a bunch of featurettes, but and isolated score track and a trailer, so it's a bunch of extras, but yeah, it's really not it's no slip cover or anything fancy, it's just simple artwork when shop shopping mall work shopping cost you an arm and a leg and now we have some DVDs right. I bought the blu-ray of thank god it's friday starting donna summer and jeff goldblum but i always like to have a dvd edition as well that i could play on the computer or in my room 
since I just have the one Blu-ray player in here. Here's the DVD edition of Thank God It's Friday, which is also, is like Sony usually does, even their DVD editions are listed as being mastered in high definition. It's 1.85 anamorphic widescreen, 89 minutes, region 1 locked color. And the audio is English 5.1 Dolby Digital in Portuguese and subtitles English, Spanish, Portuguese, and Japanese. And it's closed captioned. And it stuck a sticker over it, so I had showed this off, the Blu-ray off in the past video, so and the Blu-ray has this cover artwork underneath a new artwork slipcover. So this is the DVD of Thank God It's Friday from Sony Pictures, which was originally Columbia Pictures. So it's Donna Summer and Jeff Goldblum. And then one more, another music-related cult movie in widescreen. It's Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees in Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Heart club band and the only extra is the original trailer and this is stars Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees along with Steve Martin, George Burns, Aerosmith, Alice Cooper, Billy Preston and Earth, Wind and Fire performing almost two dozen incredible Beatles covers. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is a landmark of pop culture and an all-star musical spectacular for fans of all ages. And it's got two different English audio tracks. One is a Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound, and then a DTS 5.1 surround. And then it's closed captioned in English, Spanish, and French. And it's in two point. 3.5 anamorphic widescreen, and it's an hour and 50, 52 minutes, and it's region 1 locked. So there you can see, I guess that, yeah, it looks like the Bee Gees and Peter Frampton dressed up like the Beatles and these marching band outfits. And there is a Blu-ray of this out as well that Shout Factory has out, which I don't know if, aside from being in HD for the Blu-ray, I don't know if the Blu-ray has really much in the way that extras, like this DVD just has the original theatrical trailer, so... That's it for package two. So now, one more from Amazon Prime. We have package number three, and it's not going to be much. This should be old DVDs in this last one. Yeah, look, yeah, this looks like it's just DVDs in this one. at 24 minutes, a little over 24 minutes, so, okay, this is getting to be point ridiculous, got the widescreen DVD, and it's an anamorphic widescreen, a car wash starring Richard Pryor and George Carlin, and yeah, Shout Factory did a Shout Select Blu-ray of this, I had to have a DVD as well, and the disc is loose. It sounds like there might be, yeah, I think the inside of the case cracked. But it's in 1.85 anamorphic widescreen, and it's hour and 37 minutes, 
Region 1 locked English 2.0 mono audio o Dolby Digital and then French 2.0 mono audio and then closed captioned in English Spanish and French and no really real extras doesn't even list a trailer maybe there is one this is drive-in comedy 1976 rated PG F Franklin AJ George Carlin Professor Irwin Corey Ivan Dixon Antonio Fargus Jack Kehoe Clarence Muse and Lorraine Gary from Jaws, Jaws 2 and Jaws the Revenge is in this, and then we have the Pointer Sisters and Richard Pryor, written by Joel Schulmaker and music by Norman Whitfield, and get down for some down and dirty fun. <laughs> And then since I never had DVD this one either, I got the DVD edition a Chopping Mall, which is put out by Lionsgate, and the DVDs in a 4x3 full frame presentation version. Extras, theatrical trailer, photo gallery, 2.0 Dolby stereo surround. An audio commentary by director, co-writer Jim Wynorski and writer Steve Mitchell and Building the Killbots featurette. Yeah, from 1986, color approximately 77 minutes, rated R. It's in full frame, but it's, it's closed captioned for deaf and hard of hearing. So that's package number three. Yeah, these robots watch the inside of the mall, and then some kids break in, and the robots start killing them off. It stars Kelly Maroney from Night of the Comet, and then we got. Let's see. Russell Todd, Friday the Thirteenth, Barbara Crampton, Reanimator, and From Beyond, Tony O'Dell, The Karate Kid, and then Paul Bartell and Mary Warnoth from Eating Rowell show up in this, and then Dick Miller's in this. So this is a Roger Corman production. Well, it's mainly Roger. Corman's wife, Julie Corman's production. But I heard rumors that Corman had the negatives to this, so it's shown up on the New Horizons website as being part of their film library. And Shout Factory recently streamed this on Shout Factory TV. So that's it for package three, so. It's almost 29 minutes, so recap. Package number one of my Amazon Prime orders. The DVD special edition of Alice Cooper's Welcome to My Nightmare featuring the TV special The Nightmare from 1975, which guest starred Vincent Price. And then the Scorpion Kino distributed DVD edition of the late great planet Earth starring Orson Welles. And then the Hen's Tooth video widescreen version DVD collector's edition of Flesh Gordon, not to be confused with the original Flash Gordon, starring Jason Williams and Suzanne Fields. That was package number one.
Amazon Prime package number two. The Lionsgate Vestron Video Edition Blu-ray of Choppy Mall, which is widescreen HD, anamorphic widescreen HD, region A locked. And then the Xenon Vinegar Syndrome DVD Blu-ray combo of Rudy Raymore and Dolomite. And then the Sony Columbia Pictures DVD of Thank God It's Friday. No extras. And then the Universal Pictures widescreen DVD of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band starring Peter Frampton and the Bee Gees. This has a trailer as the only extra, so that's package number two. Package number three. The widescreen DVD of Car Wash starring Richard Pryor and George Carlin in Not Too Thrilled. The disc is loose, but the inside of the case is slightly broken. So you hear the disc loose in there and a little bit of the inside of the case broken off. And I'm hoping that's just the case that broke. And then a full screen DVD of Chopping Mall from Lionsgate. So that's it for... Part 3 of my DVD and Blu-ray a update for August 2018. Probably won't be any more update videos this month, but there'll be... If I get... I don't expect to get anything else unless I finally get that replacement disc classic cartoons from Thunderbeam Animation. So when I get that, I might do another update video, but till then, this is the end of my update for August 2018, so I'm Tim, and thank you for watching. Okay, now it's time to turn off. Stop.